What's going on everybody? Evan here from Evans Detailing and Polishing over here in Chilton, Wisconsin. I'm gonna try to answer the question of what causes burns? Now, burns are the most loaded question I ever get. And if you ask 100 polishers this question, you're gonna get 100 different answers. What causes burns? What really causes them? Break it down for me. There really isn't a short, short answer for that. How much time do you have is a better question. Um, there's a multitude of different things that can cause burns on aluminum or on stainless. Like I said in a previous video, I've still yet to see somebody physically burn stainless that wasn't trying to burn stainless. Um, I've seen a lot of missed spots on stainless, which was wrongfully accused by burns. They weren't actually burns, they were just missed spots on stainless. And even then, if you watch the white line video in my channel here, you'll also see that um, we talk about the white line. White line is usually just missed spots. Um, burns, we're physically talking about the yellow, orange, brown lines that appear on aluminum. Um, like I said, on stainless, I haven't seen stuff that wasn't done on purpose. And usually stainless burns turn blue. But on aluminum, they're orange, yellow, or brown. Now, those orange, yellow, or brown lines could come from a multitude of different things. Burn lines can come from somebody moving too slowly and just overheating the aluminum. They can come from somebody moving too fast and just putting a ton of compound on and not putting in the work and just overcooking them. Um, it could also come from a buffer spinning too fast or using too much compound or your buffer got built up with a ton of heat and uh, just blowing excess compound on. Um, if you're polishing when it's 110 degrees outside and you're using a wet compound and just sitting and cooking it in, um, sometimes that'll do it as well. Um, in these hotter temperatures, you want to use drier compounds because the drier compounds will actually stay wetter better in the high heats. Um, green is probably the more picky one, your coloring, your blue or your purple. Um, browns are not that particular. Um, your Tripoli, as long as you have it in there and as long as it stays wet in your pad, you don't need a drier brown or a wetter brown for hotter or colder temperatures. The brown isn't that big of an issue. It's usually your color that's the issue. Um, now, with burning, you can burn it in your cut and you can also burn it in your color. Now, this is the more difficult one to discern, um, mostly because there is no real color difference between a cut burn and a color burn. Um, yellow, brown, orange, they all burn the same color. Um, I haven't noticed on aluminum that they burn in different colors. Um, I have, in rare cases, seen some white color burn um, and some white cut burn. Um, only when it's really foggy and heavy. Um, but nine times out of 10, color burns are gonna be yellow, brown, or orange. Um, but I just had a set of wheels through here the other day that somebody physically, physically cooked wheels. And burning wheels takes a whole nother mindset because burning a wheel, when I bring them off my wheel machine, they're so hot, they'll burn your fingers. Um, lost some fingerprints thanks to that. Um, but sitting and working one spot with like a green compound can burn a wheel. Um, I call it color burn. Uh, color burn is the most common because um, a lot of people, if they see they miss something, they just want to use a bunch of color to try and work it back out. And if you overheat it while you're jamming the green into it, um, you can color burn it. Um, I've seen a lot of color burn over the years. Um, color burn is typically like a off-white. Um, I call it yellow because that's the closest thing it looks to me is it looks like a, a really light yellow. Um, but color burn, you notice when you go to cut across it and all of a sudden it just, your buffer grabs and jerks and pulls out of the way. Um, kind of feels like a dry spot almost. Um, but you'll notice it right away. 
Um, cut burn, you usually notice a week, two weeks down the road when you start washing. Um, right out the gate, you usually don't notice it. Cut burn usually just means you melted the surface really hot and just left it. Now, don't let this confuse you um, if your whole entire wheel turns yellow or brown. Um, if your whole entire wheel turns yellow or brown, you didn't burn the entire thing. That's next to physically impossible. I'm not gonna say it's fully impossible because the possibility is always there. Um, but nine times out of 10, when somebody sends me a picture of a wheel that turned yellow or brown, when I look at it, I can usually tell something's been sprayed on it. Um, in the summer, when it's really, really hot outside and you're going to get washed, if somebody hits it with a degreaser, um, hits it with a soap that has some alkaline and it got a chance to dry, or even the rain -X and spray waxes that these truck washes are spraying on, if this stuff has a chance to dry on your aluminum, it will turn yellow or brown. So it'll leave you with the disillusion that you've burnt something. And that's not necessarily the case. You may not have actually burnt it. It may have just been that somebody sprayed something on it. Now if you drive through lime, lime will also turn your stuff yellow or brown. So don't necessarily spit right away that it's a color burn or a cut burn or that you burnt your aluminum. Sometimes if you get, uh, I've seen in some rare cases where some of our local dump trucks, uh, back in the day before I knew you know, how to cut properly and how to keep my line tight. Um, if you drove through some lime, lime will burn into the metal in the spots where you cut and crossed and didn't overlap properly and will highlight some lines and make you think you cut burn or you color burned when in fact you didn't. It's just the difference between cutting left and cutting right. So the aluminum will stretch in different directions whether you cut left or cut right. So Try not to get too burnt out by that stuff. But burns can be from a multitude of different things. Now on stainless, I've gotten stainless so hot that it burnt me. Like bumped into it with my arm and I had a blister. Like next day, it was that hot. And I still didn't manage to burn the stainless. I'm not sure how you could possibly burn stainless. Now could you miss spots? 100%, all day every day you could miss spots fairly easily, but to burn it, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like everybody's been asking me for a video on how to burn, how to fix burns on stainless, and I've been trying to physically burn some stainless just so that I can catch it on video, and I haven't figured it out yet. I have seen some blues, blued stainless over the years, and I'm guessing by burning it, you have to cut it heavy and let it sit a day. I don't know. Maybe down the road it'll start turning blue. If you use hard water on stainless and let it dry, it will turn yellow or blue. A lot of our local milk haulers get the, we call it milk water. Um, they wash at these milk stations and they end up with a creamy color on their stainless and on their aluminum. And we just use a wet sand mix to take that off real quick and then buff it back out and it turns out just fine. But some of that stuff will also turn it blue. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. I'm sorry it was a little long, but at the same time, there was no other good way to explain it without making it long. So hopefully this video helps. Um, I'll try to post up some pictures on my Instagram. That's metalpolisher3826 and evansdetailing underscore evan. I'll try to upload some burns. Um, you can always find burns. Anytime I see some burns, I try to post them up in my story. So make sure you're following those two channels and uh, we'll try to keep those things coming. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks for tuning in, I appreciate you guys watching. Of course, I can't thank you guys enough. Thanks for watching, click that subscribe. And of course, everything you see us use in our shop, you can find on goshanon.com forward slash shop. We sell everything we use. Thanks for tuning in, always appreciate you. Till next time, deuces.